Hello Angels, I'm Catherine CHE and I just wanted to say a few words on this day as a singer. My voice is my, is my most powerful tool and I will of course be singing about um, how, I, how I synthesize this experience. First I want to quote the great conductor and composer Leonard Bernstein. This will be our reply to violence, to make music more intensely, more beautifully, more devotedly than ever. I send prayers of peace, of comfort, and of coming to some sort of understanding that can help with the peace and the comfort, and of finding our way back to love if we get nudged out of that by any events that we are a part of or that we witness or that we hear about. And I've seen some posts online today where people are saying that they're kind of sick of seeing all this, oh, I'm praying for this, I'm praying for that. Well, I believe in the power of prayer. And, you know, not so much like, oh, I'm praying for a, a, a specific brand new car. But to get into a feeling place of, in prayer, of what it is that you really wish for and in this case peace love comfort understanding to get into that feeling place Greg Braden wrote a lot about this about not praying for but praying so don't pray for peace but pray peace just get into that feeling place of feeling finding peace and when you do that you change the world it's very meditative, that kind of prayer, and it is by and large the kind of prayer that, that I personally practice, and I'm not saying that it is any better or worse than any other kind of prayer. I'm just sharing my, my own way. And there's been scientific research on when you gather people together uh, to pray or meditate on peace or love, that it does indeed ripple out into the world. They did this with a bunch of monks in DC and when the the monks were meditating on peace, crime rates went down in Washington DC. So we may not think that we have a role in the kinds of things like what just happened in Las Vegas, but all of us are energetically a part of this whole. And if we're meditating and sending out peaceful vibes, then it helps those around us to be more peaceful. Even if you're not meditating, if you can just find that peace and just as, as you're being, radiating out that peace and love and joy and whatever the best feeling, feelings and thoughts and sensations that you can muster, then that helps the world around you to be that way too one can see how that can express you know if you're feeling angry and you're you're spitting angry words at, at, at people they're not unlikely to respond by spitting angry words back and even if they weren't angry before you spit those words at them maybe they're angry now but if you say something sweet and loving to a person if that person was maybe a little bit angry before maybe they'll shift a little bit but we I believe are so much more powerful on an energetic level and so when we are just sending the love out sending the peace out sending the joy out sending the comfort and the understanding out even without a word you know you know you've experienced that without a word you feel comfort just maybe just hearing and knowing that there's a person who is peaceful and offering comfort in the room or even before you knew they come in you feel it and if that person is angry you feel that too so we all have a part in this whole so I will continue to do my part and like Bernstein said I will do it more intensely and I will aim to do it as beautifully as I can and with as much love and right now with as much comfort um, and as much peace as I possibly can.
So in closing, I just want to sing a bit of my song, Be the Peace. Be the peace and be the change and be the love. Be the peace and be the change and be the love. Peace, change, love. Only I want to be the peace and be the change and be the love. It's time to be the peace and be the change and be the love.